And then we have goddesses. And that's got some very pretty pictures in it. That's cute. I like that one. That's nice. That's really pretty. Anything with a kitty cat in. So I like this one. This is a nice book. I will enjoy doing all of these. They're all really nice. really pretty. I love this one on this side. This one's really pretty. Lovely. Lovely. I think I will definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. It's got really nice pictures. And the, although the paper is thin, it's not as thin as some of them, some of the other books. So that's a really nice one. Now I've got, um, I've actually got about three of these and I've started colouring one. I will actually put some photos up at the very end of just a couple of the pages that I've actually finished in the one that I already have. So this is the, the newest one. If I like a book, I do tend to buy two or three of them, why not use different colours each time you colour them, it's a bit difficult, there we go, maybe I can put it through no, sorry it's just a little bit difficult for me to hold it because I'm standing behind the tripod and I'm having a bit difficult to get my arms around it, so Some pretty pictures in it. Some, some are very intricate and detailed, and they're partially. Some of them have got little bits of colour already on them, just to give you an idea, just to start you off, sort of thing. But that's pretty much. That's a nice book, and that has got nice thick quality paper. That's got a really nice paper to it, and it's got a lovely hard back cover, so you can actually. When you finished it, you might like to keep that one or whatever. So that's really nice. Okay, we're getting through it. So now we have the Millie Marauders Animal Kingdom. Most people who do colouring will probably be familiar with that name. Some very pretty pictures in there. pretty. Chickens? Oh, no, cockerels. Pretty. Got some little tiny birds in there. The big, two lovely big fat chubby fishies. The little fishies on this side. This one's got lots of um, variety and got some nice little intricate things and lovely birdies. Lovely beetles and oh look, little caterpillars, aren't they cute? Froggies, more beautiful birdies.
jellyfish, butterflies, lovely birdies. More lovely birdies. A whale. I don't like that very much. Well, they're nice. I like those. A snake. That's really sweet. I like that one. The little squirrels is really cute. Oh, and all those beautiful birdies. It's a nice one. Giraffes, elephant, no it's not an elephant, sorry it's a hippo, pretty flowers, lovely snail, little bees, a flamingo, peacock, birdie, crickets or grasshoppers, Pretty. You can do them all different colours, that'll be fun. Oops. Oh, that's lovely. A woodpecker. I can't get the pages apart. More birdies. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that one. A bear and a... looks like a baby bear. Although it looks like a... that could pass as a baby elephant because it looks like a, a little trunk there. And something, I don't know, some kind of a goat or, actually it's a, um, yeah it's a goat or something, or sheep. So that's that one, that's quite nice. Now here we have an Arabic one, this is, uh, this is a big flop as well, I bought this one online, uh, it looked okay online but of course when you get it home and you actually look through it, it's not quite that nice, it's not as nice as you think it might be. I, only saw, I think I, there was a few previews, just a couple of pages that they showed, and they always show the best pages, and then they fill, fill the book with all stuff that's not that nice, really. But it's okay. But, um, it's only a thin book anyway, so I'll get through it in no time. So it's okay. It's not fantastic. The, the paper is not very good at all. It's quite thin. So, it's that one. So here we have the Magical Christmas. This, this is a really beautiful book, this one. I bought this one online. And it's got quite nice thick paper as well, so that's, um, that's really nice. You can see there's lots of intricate patterns, but they're filled with lots of interesting things as well. If you look more, the more you look, the more you can see. Like there's a, a bunny rabbit there, and a tilly there, and the gingerbread man, all cute little things in there, little dicky birds, some pears, all lovely things. Some lovely Christmas flowers. Sweet little house. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. That's better. There, you can see it better now. That's a double page one, that's nice. Lots of fun things on that page. Oh, some little birds. Oh, I love little birdies. Love little birdies. That's really sweet. They're nice. Little boat, two little boats, or maybe three little boats. Oh, that's right. I saw three ships are sailing, something like that. Three ships, yeah, something like that. You know, you know where it goes. Um, we've got a little dove. That's really pretty. Oh, look, the three kings on their camels. It's cute.
some angels, pretty angels, little angels in there. That's really nice, I like that one. That's really, oh look, I think there's a little circus or something there, there's an elephant. And it's um, like a little, sort of, I don't know, it's like a kind of little street scene sort of thing. Really cute. So we've got Father Christmas, or Santa. We've got a lovely rocking horse, that's really pretty. Oh, we've got a lovely little front door scene. And a nice little heart with a fireplace, a hearth, a hearth heart, or a heart hearth. And we've got some. Oh, look, we have a. Oh, let's see if I can keep the book up right. We have a kangaroo and some fishies, a dolphin. Oh, a little Santa hiding up there. If you can see that one. Right there's a little Santa, little Santa right there. There's all kinds of stuff on this one. There's bumble, little bumblebees. Oh, that's pretty. I like this. Oh, look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's candles. That is really pretty. That's a really, really pretty one. And we've got the Christmas dinner table. All the gingerbread man and some carrots and a pudding. And another candle and some, some crackers. That's really nice. I like that one. It's full of things. Snowman? Snowmen, rather? Oh, that's lovely. I love that one. It's really cute. Lovely candles, and they've got one there with a boot on it. That's nice, it's like a kind of like a gothic y church. That's really sweet. There's a lot in this book. It's a really good book. And I do believe I only paid like um, $2 for this one online. It's a really nice book. I shall definitely get this one out next Christmas. And that's lovely. Look at all that. You've got all your fruits and your tables laid with all the lovely things. That's really nice. really do like this book. It's quite different to all the other ones. It's crammed full of as many different things as possible. It's really nice. It's not, not too repetitive. So that's really nice. So that's lovely. I like that one. The Magical Christmas. Okay, so the next one is Art Therapy Mosaics. And this is a really nice quality book. It's got a really lovely stiff cover. The paper's really good quality, it's really nice thick paper. And this, these patterns are repetitive because they're like a mosaic design, so you get like tiles and things. Go a bit quicker if I can. Trouble is when I flick through it quickly, it tends to flip several pages at once, they stick together. Some of them are quite pretty, a few of them are a little, little bit boring for my liking. I bought this book online so I didn't really know what to expect. But it's quite nice, it's nice quality. There's a lot of pictures in there. Uh, 
this one is Millie Murata's Tropical Wonderland. I really like this one, it's very nice. Lots of birds. Owls, lovely. Parrots, oh there's lots and lots to colour on this one. I can go berserk with my gel pens. I think it's lovely to um, use gel pens when it comes to the bird ones because of all the bright colours. The gel pens tend to glow and you've got all your, your sort of like your fluorescent colours as well. Especially nice for the parrots and stuff. And butterflies. Um, this is a really nice book. I like this one. It's one of my favourites. It's a lovely bird there. Not quite sure what he is, but it's an interesting looking little fella. Oh, I like those. They're those little um, lanterns. The little, um, they're like little dried lanterns. They're sweet, they are. Oh, that's very nice, is too. Get the jumbos. A frog and a something else. I'm not quite sure. Oh, iguana. It says it's an iguana. More fish. That's really nice. I've got like one with the birds on it. Some dragonflies, beetles. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get the light on it. That's a bit difficult. Lovely peacock. Oops, sorry. Get it open. Some leaves. A little crab and some seahorse horses. Moth. A whale. Oh, a little, um, what do you call it? Um, I think it's, isn't that called a bush baby or something? I'm not sure what the real word, or the real um, name is. I think they call them bush babies, they've got big, big eyes. And a little um, armadillo. Some lily pads, feathers, another birdie. Kitty cat. Flowers, butterflies, beetles. Lots and lots of lovely things in this one. Butterflies, birds. That's lovely. Okay, I think I bought um, this one's Tranquil Wilderness, and I think I bought three of these. Yeah, I've got three of these ones because I really liked it. This has got a really nice cover, and it's got quite good quality paper. Lots and lots of different designs in this one. Bunny rabbits, isn't that cute? See how cute that is? If you can see that. Little bunnies. Lots of patterns. Lots of flowery patterns, which is nice. Paisley sort of leafy patterns. A little panther or something. Well, that's cute. Little birds. Butterflies, leaves, flowers, more flowers. So that's really lovely and I, I bought three of these because they were really cheap and I like those. Next one, um, 
colour therapy and I've, I've got two of these, two of the same. I'll just put one over there. Now these are really nice quality. Um, half, of pen, half of the pictures do have, I'll show you, hang on. You can see they're really pretty. It's nice quality paper. I shall start that bit again. So this is really nice quality paper and the cover is really nice as well. And you've got um, on the left hand side you've got a little example of the colourings and stuff. But I never ever do what they suggest. I like to do my own thing. Always do my own thing when it comes to colouring books. So these are really nice and I've got two of these. I bought these online. A couple of pictures in there that aren't terribly pretty, like that ugly sort of monkey thing that we just went past. Didn't like that very much. But the rest of it's quite nice. Um, I actually got, I think I bought two or three of these. Creative colouring. That's extremely thin paper again. It's unfortunate but you can actually see th through it. It's transparent, it's so thin. Which is a real shame. Actually, that's not very nice anyway. I didn't know what was in what was in here when I bought it because I bought it online and I didn't see any previews. So it's a bit of a hidden miss. But there's a couple in there that I will probably like to colour. But I bought it very cheaply. It was I think it was only about two dollars, so I didn't lose much. But I think I bought, I know I've got two, I may have bought three, I'm not sure. Yeah, so that, that's not quite, quite so nice as the others. And I've got um, two of these. Now I actually did have three of these. Now there's, there's one that I actually finished colouring. I have got a few photos that I took of the finished pages and I'll put them up at the very end. But I really like this one. It's got like... Um, old-fashioned sort of vintagey sort of style drawings and it gives you an idea of how to colour them and stuff like that. It's actually quite nice. I really enjoyed the first one so I, I bought these three. Another, sorry I bought another two. That's nice caterpillars. Back there and show that one. Nice little caterpillars. It's cute. So that's that one. So that's really nice. And I bought two of those. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you'll join me again for part two because I've got probably that many again. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.